Hi Capricorn, Rai here. I'm gonna do another reading for you guys. Something's telling me to do another reading for you. So I hope you don't mind. So this is gonna be for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North and South Node. I honestly feel like there are no rules when it comes to tarot. No two readers read tarot the same. And just because a person thinks they know the rules of tarot, there are no rules of tarot. Some people use tarot cards and don't go based off the card meanings at all. They go based off of the pictures. They go based off of intuition. So when I read, it is up to you whether this resonates, whether you want to flip the roles. I don't care. Just putting that out there. So Spirit, um, this is going to be for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North and South. Now what messages do we have for Capricorn, please and thank you. Sorry, I need more Florida water. I feel it already. <laughs> yeah, some people need that. Messages and guidance for Capricorn. Messages and guidance for Capricorn. Now that feels too low. Please and thank you. Messages and guidance. I have the Ace of Wands. This is a new passionate beginning. This could be starting a business. This could also be a relationship. This could be actually taking the steps towards a relationship. This could be somebody getting ready to approach you in regards to a relationship. Why do I say that? Because I pull the 10 of cups. This is you having your happiness and finding happiness with another person and the both of you coming together because you both are responsible for your happiness. It's like you at wish fulfillment, totally loving yourself, meeting someone else at their wish fulfillment, totally loving themselves. For all we know, you guys could be each other's wish fulfillment with the Ten of Cups. I'm showing the Eight of Cups. Um, this means that you could have walked away from somebody. I feel also that this is not just possibly walking away from someone because it doesn't have to be. This might actually be walking away from a certain way of viewing things and also certain beliefs that you may have had, how you felt about faith, how you felt about religion, um, or excuse me, relationships, how you felt uh, about love. It's like a person knowing what they're doing is not, and you know what? I think I saw the five of cups. I did. It's almost like walking away from a certain way of thinking or being because it's never been fulfilling and it always left you with regret. So I think there's some sort of positive change you guys are making Capricorn. And I think the King of Cups came out of the, in the reading earlier today uh, when I was talking about the person obsessed with you guys. And that person was in their head with the, <laughs> with the Eight of Swords. This could be the energy that you guys are in, but I was stating also that uh, in the earlier reading today um, that the past person, person for Capricorn is gaining that emotional stability and maturity here. But in this particular reading, I feel like you guys may have grown a lot. You guys may have grown a lot emotionally um, after dealing with the situation that may have had you in your head. Um, that could have been why you walked away and have the Five of Cups as well. It doesn't necessarily have to be a love re a relationship. 
Um, but for, for some of you, it is, what was that card? Nine of Swords. You may have been, or excuse me, Nine of Wands. You guys may have been dealing with somebody that was testing boundaries. This could be a warning to be mindful of people trying to test your boundaries, Capricorn. Mm, 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 mm. This is you guys seeing what is out there, planning, sorry about my neighbors, planning your future, looking ahead, seeing what's out there for you. This is you guys having your stability, which I did mention earlier today, but when I mentioned it, I did not say marriage. Um, but this could be you guys getting married, having a reason to celebrate, because remember, I did pull the Ten of Cups. And what is that? That's justice. It's somebody getting their karma for how they treated you um, by watching you be happy with somebody else. And what's at the bottom of the deck? Oh, man. The Queen of Cups. The Queen of Cups and the King of Cups are a pair. These are two emotionally ad uh, mature adults or people that don't have a problem explaining their feelings, talking about their feelings. She may be a little more open than this person's energy, um, or he may be a little more open than this person's energy. Energy is fluid here. It doesn't matter. But these are two people that are able to talk about their feelings. What was after that? The Six of Cups, or excuse me, the Six of Pentacles. Why am I saying the Cups? The Six of Pentacles with an even give and take. Do I even want to pull any more cards? What's at the bottom? The Emperor. This is about stability. This is a person that, that takes control. Capricorn, you guys are taking control of your life. You guys are getting that stability, even if you have to do it by yourself. This is you guys not really being afraid of anything anymore, but just taking charge, taking control. Um, this is a person that is going to communicate concerns that they have. It's so funny because this looks like somebody I knew many, many years ago. But this is you guys understanding that the people in the past have come into your life with, with strategy. And now you guys are pretty hip to what's going on when it comes to relationships and dating. You know what to look out for. <laughs> Somebody's... Somebody's manifesting you. This came out earlier today, too. You guys are going to get the things that you are wanting to manifest because you have the tools. Some of you are trying to manifest the stability. Some of you are trying to manifest an emperor. This is all about your happiness. Ooh. This came out today too, I believe, the Three of Cups. This is coming together, this is celebrating, this is getting the support of friends, this is you guys being supportive. You might meet this person through friends, but this is going to lead to your happiness. And this person is going to watch you be happy if a past person is watching. Um, but this is about you guys doing what makes you happy now. This is your concern. What makes Capricorn happy is what is important to Capricorn at this time. Because in the past, Capricorn has put other people's needs and happiness before their own. And Capricorn has done what? Suffered. So Capricorn, Ten of Cups is kind of like ultimate happiness as well. This is that warm feeling inside, being positive, trusting the universe, having faith. I think of the sun and the, car, the star card very, very similarly. Um, but this is just confirmation that you're going to meet someone. There's a passionate beginning coming and we have the Ten of Cups. I know I didn't pull the Two of Cups and I didn't pull the Lover's card, but I don't think I needed to actually pull that. Yeah. 
that's what I have for you. So, um, put yourself first. Be kind. Don't settle. And continue knowing what you deserve and don't, don't allow somebody to push back your boundaries and minimize and discredit your feelings in regards to a situation or how somebody or how something impacts your feelings and um, just ultimately just don't let anyone minimize how you feel because I feel like that's something Capricorns deal with a lot but there will be a reason to celebrate and it's karma it is somebody's karma it's the balancing of the scales it is justice your justice is uh, moving on and being happy and somebody may have to just watch you be happy from the sidelines all right cappies that is what i have for you thank you for liking sharing and subscribing love you guys bye